بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویڈیو لیکچرز کلاس 3 سبجیکٹ از انگلش لیکچر نمبر 9 دا بک نیم از گرامر اینڈ یوزیج اینڈ ہیئر ایم یور ٹیچر مسز زائما عامر دا کانٹینٹس اف مائی ٹوڈیز لیکچر آر انسٹرکشنز فار دا اسٹوڈنٹ ابجیکٹیوز use of much and many and its exercise number 4 use of some and any and its exercise number 6 at the end we have an assignment instructions for the students students i hope you are all safe and sound at your home and following all the precautions to save yourself from covid-19 i want all of you very attentive and be ready for today's lecture which is based on your grammar and usage i hope you should have your grammar book necessary stationery items with you parents are advised to supervise their children in this respect as it is new type of teaching objectives i hope after this lecture the student will be able to learn the concept of much and many they will be able to learn the concept of some and any the student will be able to use these concept in their sentence first we start with the use of much and many before i start we will revise the countable noun and uncountable noun these two terms you have read in your previous class students the things which you can count are called countable noun look at the first picture how many apples are there yes there are three apples 1 2 3 apple is a countable noun because you can count them how many eggs are there in your next picture yes six eggs okay so the things which you can count are called countable noun. and with countable noun we use many you can say there are many apples in the plate there are many eggs in the dish so we use many with countable noun aisi cheeze jinko hum gin sakte hain unke sath hum term many ka use karte hain uncountable noun ایسی چیزیں جن کو آپ گن نہیں سکتے ان کو انکاؤنٹیبل کرنگل شوگر ملک بٹر سینڈ میٹ چیز آپ یہ تو بتا سکتے ہیں تھوڑی ہیں کم ہیں زیادہ ہیں لیکن آپ ان کو ون ٹو میں کاؤنٹ نہیں کر سکتے ٹھیک ہے جن کو آپ کاؤنٹ نہ کر سکو وہ انکاؤنٹیبل نہ اب انکاؤنٹیبل ناؤن کے ساتھ ہم مچ یوز کرتے ہیں سو ہم انکاؤنٹیبل ناؤن کے لیے مچ کو یوز کرتے ہیں ایسی چیزیں جن کو ہم کاؤنٹ نہیں کرتے much is used with uncountable nouns like sand water rice and sugar and many is used with countable noun like pen book student chair etc now student we start exercise number 4 question is fill in the blanks with much or many 
you have to put either much or many in the blank. Number one sentence is there are dash people in the market. We will put many here because people are what counted. There are many people in the market. I have solved this uh, exercise for you. Here are the answer after every sentence. How dash apples do you want? How many apples do you want? Why do you use many? Because apples are counted. There isn't dash rice left in the pot. There is not much rice left in the pot. Number four. There is not much water in the pipe. In sentence third and fourth, we use much because rice and water are uncountable. Number five, there are dash books in the library. There are many books in the library. Again, we use many because books are countable. Number six, there are not dash patients in the clinic. There are not many patients in the clinic. Number seven, we do not eat too dash oily food. We do not eat too much oily food. Why we use much here? Because our oily food or food is what? Uncountable. Do not give the cat too dash milk. Do not give the cat too much milk. Milk is again uncountable now. So we use here much. There are dash birds in the park. There are many birds in the park. Understand? Do not put too dash sugar in the coffee. Do not put too much sugar in the coffee. So I hope you understand the difference between much and many. And you will be able to use these, ter these terms or these concepts in the sentence. Let's start with the use of some and again. Some and many. Any. For these terms means little. Dono ka matlab hota thoda. Thik But their usage is different. Some is used in positive sentences. Aise sentences jinne na na ho balke positive answer ho affirmative answer ho to inne haan some use karte. Any is used in negative sentences and interrogative sentences. Mean ऐसे क्वेश्चन वाले और नेगेटिव जुमले उनमें हम एनी को यूज करते हैं ठीक है जिसमें नॉट की बात आ रही हो कोई आंसर अगर आपसे पूछा जाए उसमें नो नो आता हो उन्हें हम एन यूज करते हैं अगर आप और दूसरे ऐसे सेंटेंसेस जिसमें क्वेश्चन पूछा जाए उनमें हम एनी यूज करते हैं दोनों का मतलब सेम है लेकिन इनका यूजेज डिफरेंट है so some is used in positive sentences and any is used in negative and interrogative sentences. So we have some examples of some. There is some milk in the glass. There are some books in the bed. In both sentences some is used and both are affirmative sentences. दोनों में कोई नफी बात नहीं समा इसलिए हम यहाँ पे सम को यूज करें नाउ कम टू द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एनी नेगेटिव एंड इंटेरोगेटिव सेंटेंसेस में एनी यूज लेट्स सी द एग्जाम्पल आई डू नॉट हैव एनी गुड स्टोरी बुक हमने एनी से यूज किया कि आप यहाँ पे डू नॉट नजर आ रहा है नेगेटिव सेंटेंस में दूसरा देखिए दिस इज इंटेरोगेटिव सेंटेंस इज देयर एनी जूस इन द क्लास इंटेरोगेटिव मीन सच सेंटेंसेस इन विच क्वेश्चन इज आस्क तो 
ऐसे सेंटेंसेस जिसमें नहीं मैं जवाब आ रहा हूँ या कोई सवाल पूछा जा रहा हो ऐसे में हम क्या यूज करते हैं एन Now we have exercise number six. In the blanks, you have to use some or n. Question is fill in the blanks with some or n. Number one. There is not dash paper in the drawer. There is not any paper in the drawer. Why we use any here? Because you will see isn't. मतलब नहीं मिला. There isn't. Dash T in the port. There is not any T in the port. Number one and two are negative sentences, so we put any here. Are there are dash books in on the shelf? There are some books on the shelf. There is no negative sentence. It is not a question sentence, so it is affirmative sentence, and we use here some. Understand? Number four. Is there dash milk in the glass? Is there any milk in the glass? We put any here because it is a interrogative sentence, a sentence in which question is asked. Kya glass mein doot hai, milk hai? Hum yahan pe any lagaye. Are there dash mangoes in the basket? Are there any mangoes in the basket? Again, any issues because number five sentence is interrogative sentence. Number six, there is still some jam in the jar. Some sentence is affirmative one, positive sentence. So, we have to use some use here. There is not dash water in the pot. There is not any water in the pot. Are there dash coconut on the tree? Are there any coconut on the tree? Can I have dash sweet? Can I have some sweet? Uh, student, this is not question. It is a very humble request. क्या मैं कुछ टॉप स्वीट्स ले सकती हूँ तो ये क्वेश्चन नहीं है इसको आप अंडरस्टैंड कर लें वी विल यूज हेयर सम ठीक है इट्स नॉट अ क्वेश्चन इट्स अ वेरी हम्बल रिक्वेस्ट डू यू हैव डैश बुक्स टू गिव अवे डू यू हैव एनी बुक टू गिव अवे अगेन क्वेश्चन स्टेटमेंट नंबर टेन इज क्वेश्चनिंग एंड वी यूज हेयर एन Now, student, note down both these exercises in your notebooks and learn. Be very careful while you are doing your work. I hope you have fully understood this. Thank you.